together. Away, haul away, we haul away, Joe. King Louis was the king of France before the revolution. Away, haul away, we haul away, Joe. But Louis got his head removed, it spoiled his constitution. Away, haul away, we haul away, Joe. Away, the golden age of sailing ships was between 1750 and 1850. World trade depended entirely on the seamanship of those who took these small vessels on long and dangerous voyages. Essential to the running of a sailing ship were the sea shanties. These songs accompanied the manual tasks on board the ship, ensuring the sailors worked together as a team. We'll haul away, Joe. Away. Ha! Haul away, we'll haul away together. Away, haul away. We haul away, Joe. Away. Ha! When we listen to sea shanties being performed by folk groups, we might think life on board a sailing ship was romantic. But in reality, the work was extremely hard and dangerous. Life on board was governed by the sounding of the ship's bell. Struck every half hour, eight bells marking the end of a four-hour period of work, known as a watch. Let's go back in time and meet one of these ordinary sailors. His ship is about to set sail from Valparaiso in South America. It'll be a voyage of 11,000 nautical miles, back to the sailor's home port of Liverpool. We sail from Valparaiso on the morning tide, heading home to Liverpool. Most of the men that I sailed with are going back with me. We only lost one man in the outward voyage, old Joseph Brown, fell from the topsail yard. We were taken in sail at night off Cape Horn. We wouldn't have heard him cry out, there was a gale blowing, like the screams of lost souls in hell and the sound of the waves crashing down on our ship was louder than any thunder I've ever heard. There's just 20 of us ordinary sailors on this ship, divided into two watches. Each watch has a mate who looks after us as best he can. We don't have any contact with the captain. We're kept in order by the boatswain. He's a hard man. Never needs an excuse to lash out if we ever dare to step out of line. To my mind, the ship's cook has the most important job. He keeps us fed and acts as a surgeon if one of us gets hurt. Then there's the shantyman. It's his songs that help us all pull together. And a ship can't sail without him. When we're clean of the harbour, it'll be all hands to set sail. The shantyman calls out the lines of the verse and we shout back the chorus as we all on the alliot. Once we're underway it'll be four hours on and four hours off for the rest of the voyage. Now Sally is the girl that comes from a rally. Way hey, bully in the alley. Sally is the girl from Shinbone Alley. Bully on the Shinbone now. So help me, boys and bully in the alley. Way hey, bully in the alley. Help me, boys, and bully in the alley, bully on the shinbone now. For seven long years I caught in Sally way, hey, bully in the alley. Oh, Everything I have in the world's in this sea chest, apart from the clothes I'm wearing. In my younger days, when I went ashore, I used to waste my pay on drink and women, but now I lead a more sober existence. Read the Bible sometimes, smoke me pipe, and just sit here by myself below deck, saving me money. They'll be surprised how small our ship is. The captain and Bolson have decent cabins, but me and me shipmates are squeezed into the front of the ship. Two tiers of bunks on each side. The forehatch lets in a bit of light, but it's mostly dark and smelly. A mixture of sweat, filthy clothes and vomit. But we don't have the time to worry about things like that. Because the work never stops. All in ropes on deck, climbing the mast to let out or shorten sail. Eight bells is heavenly sound. Me watch done, go below and get fed. 
and all my aching body into me bunk. Let's go below. The look out to windward, you can see it's going to blow. The look at the glass, you can see that it has fell. And we wish that you would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Any water that gets into the ship settles in the bilge below the main hold. When it gets too deep, we have to pump it out. Nothing to do with keeping us sailors safe. It's all about keeping the cargo dry. This is a good ship. The best thing about it is she doesn't leak. I've sailed on her for five years. I've learned to avoid ships that take on too much water. It can take an old watch to pump out a leaky ship. Imagine that. Four hours at the pump. Thirty shanties sung and repeated over and over. And the bosun yelling at us like he's a slave master. And sail away next morn. Don't ever fool around with girls. You're safer off Cape Horn. And away you shanty, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls count your dance to polka. Oh, you New York girls count your dance to polka. In my day, to get from the Pacific into the Atlantic, we had to go round Cape Horn. For a while, we forget how much we ate the captain, because he'll be at the wheel. Our lives depend on his skill and experience. Round in the horn is the closest a man can get to hell without actually dying. Waves like mountains. We're fighting the sea that's trying to take us down to David Jones's locker. Not a time for singing. We will near the shanty man above the screaming of the wind. Both watch us aloft, together, feeling our way uh, along the yards, fingers frozen and blistered. By the time we get to our bunks, we're too exhausted to take our wet clothes off. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. And a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. And a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. And we roll the old chariots along. And we roll the old chariots along. The voyage home to Liverpool is 11,000 nautical miles. It takes four months of hard graft to get us there. Five of the wind is in our favour. By the time I get home, it'll be almost a year since I last saw my wife. She'll be down at the quay every day around the time my ship's due in, watching for our sails on the horizon. Pity the poor wives who wait for a ship that never comes back. Then there's Joseph Brown, the sailor lost off Cape Horn. His wife will be waiting. Her children hanging onto her skirt. And when she sees our sails on the horizon, she'll not know he's not with us. When our ship finally docks, I can go ashore and collect me pay. I never look back. None of us do. All we'd see is the miserable face of the boatswain. The captain will be in his cabin, drinking most likely. We want to see much of him on the voyage home. It's very rare for a captain to get to know any of his crew by name. To him, each one of us is Johnny or just plain Joe. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow. And it's time for us to leave her. Oh, the winds was foul and the work was hard. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. From the Liverpool docks to the Brooklyn Yard. And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow. And it's time for us to leave.